On the afternoon of Friday, August 4th, players and coaches representing the 22 teams that make up the Oakland Activity Association gathered at Rochester High School for the 9th Annual OA Media Day. Rochester head coach Eric Vernon welcomed those in attendance and introduced the keynote speaker. High school football coach John Harrington. Harrington won 443 games and 13 state championships at Farm Hills Harrison from 1970 to 2018. He's the winningest high school football coach in Michigan history. It was inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame in 2001. I'm telling you guys, they go so fast. That year goes so fast and suddenly the year is over. And you look back and say, man, I could have done more. I should have done this, I should have done that. Right now, sitting here, you got the chance to do everything you want to do. So don't take any reps off. One last saying that I like, as the season goes on, when you win, you're never as good as you think you are. And when you lose, you're never as bad as you think you are. So you just go and work hard for the next game. Have a great season. Enjoy playing the greatest game ever invented. Thank you. Following Coach Harrington's inspirational message, representatives of all 22 teams that make up the OA were invited to come up and address the media. The OA is made up of four divisions, the red, white, blue, and gold. The Lake Orion Dragons share the red division with Clarkston, West Bloomfield, Rochester Adams, Oxford, and Stony Creek. Following the press conference, I had a chance to talk to some of the coaches about the upcoming 2023 season. All right, here we got Lake Orion assistant coach John Blacksock here. Coach, um, Obviously, you know, you look at Lake Orion, who was loaded this year um, on both sides of the ball. So talk about that here for a minute. Yeah, you know, we're really excited. We've got a lot of, a lot of guys back that uh, have been through the battles the last two to three years. Uh, we're excited about the young guys that are coming up, some of the freshmen from last year and sophomores that will be with the varsity. And, you know, we, we hope that the scoreboard works out on our end more times than it doesn't. But uh, as coaches, we're just really excited because it's such a – fun group of kids to be around. They've got great energy, they've got great attitudes, and their work ethic has been outstanding. Talk about your defense and special teams. That's been one question mark a lot of people look at with Lake Orion. How is that going to look? Yeah, you know, I think you'll see some new faces, um, but we're excited about it. You know, I think we're going to run really well on, on that side of the ball this year. Defensively and special teams, you know, we'll, we'll move well, and we're going to try to keep things pretty fundamental and pretty basic so that the kids can just play fast. What is the expectation this year, Coach? Uh, expectation doesn't change. You know, it's, it's always the same to win the OAA Red. That's number one goal, number one expectation, and then to uh, see how much we can improve each week and become the best team that we possibly can. I got the coach of the Cats, Coach Jack Line here. Coach, um, we talked on the podcast recently. Yep. Um, how's everything been for you? Everything's been good. You know, we, we've had a good offseason. Um, we are further ahead than we were last year. You know, we, we were back to ground zero this year uh, and able to build um, towards our team and towards football more. Um, you know, last year we spent a lot of time as a staff and as a group making sure we were all in a good spot mentally, um, getting guys there and present, um, you know, because it was a hard year last year. So this year we were able to start from ground zero and just start building. Talk about Luke, obviously. You know, we talked last week on the pod about Luke. Um, how has he been doing? You know, Luke's been uh, out wrestling in Fargo, so he spent most of July training. Um, Luke will be back now for all of August. We had him June, we'll have him August, um, but Luke's a stud, right? He, he's going to go out there, he's going to work hard. Um, he's just got an effort level that it's hard to match. What is the expectation this year, Coach? I like this team. Like I said on the podcast, I'm only looking at week one, and I like our matchup against Eisenhower. Um, this is a group that will just keep getting better over and over and over again every week, every rep. So, um, I. You know, to me, it's just, as far as this team will take us, um, I like our odds. I got the coach of Clarkson Wolves, Justin Pintar, here. Coach, um, last season you made the um, Division um, One state semifinals. Um, how, is, how has the offseason been for you guys? Uh, we've had a really good offseason. You know, we try to take advantage of the, the days that the MHSA gives us, and I, I think we're way ahead of where we were last year at this time. Um, you know, the coaches have put a lot of time in. Players are more comfortable this year having the same staff um, back for year two. So I, I think from last year to this year, we're, we're definitely ahead of where we were at this time last year. How about your quarterback and running back situation? How's that been going for you guys? Um, quarterback position, we got, we got a few different kids that have been battling um, throughout the summer. Um, all of them have, have looked really good at times. And, 
and we're going to continue that kind of uh, that quarterback battle into camp. So we don't know right now who's going to be our, our starting quarterback at the big house, um, but we feel comfortable with all of the guys that we have right now that are competing for that spot. Um, running back is a little bit of a um, a little bit more sure there. We got uh, Lucas and Griffin Bowman who are going to get some reps there. Um, Ryan Rector played some there last year, and, and he'll be in the mix a little bit. So we feel pretty confident in, uh, in all three of those guys running the football for us. So um, our quarterback's the one spot where we just got to see where we're at in a couple weeks. What is your expectation this year? Um, you know, I think at Clarkston the expectations are always to, you know, compete for a league, um, win districts, win regionals. I mean, that, that's kind of the bar that it was set by, uh, you know, Coach Richardson over the last several decades. So um, th that's where we always have our expectations, you know, and, and we know that it's not easy to do that because this league is one of the best in the state. Um, and obviously the teams that we'll see in the playoffs um, are very good as well. But th those are always our expectations going into the season. I got the coach of the Lake Show, Coach yeah. Jack Hilbers here. Coach, um, obviously we were on the podcast a couple weeks ago, so talk about the Lakers. Um, talk about what you expect with the Lakers this season. Well, you know what? I just I just expect us to go out there and compete. Like uh, if we set it up there, as, as did a lot of other people, the league is so deep, it's so challenging. The level of coaching is is so high that uh, you know if we know if we go out there and compete and get a chance to to play in Week Ten and beyond, that we're going to be ready for whatever's out there. Talk about your um, talk about your schedule. It is brutal. You yeah. got three home games. You'll be wearing the um, the white uniforms a lot this year. So talk about your schedule. It is brutal. Yeah, it's brutal. I mean, the OAA red I think speaks for itself and stands on its own as being probably like the most competitive and the deepest league there is in the state. And then if you look at our crossovers, you know, you're playing Southfield, who's just loaded, unbelievably talented. Uh, Birmingham Groves, who was in the Final Four last year and has you know a couple really good players and then the other games are Oak Park and Chippewa Valley with established coaches that have won and really good players too so if you look at it like, a, like that it's like as a total you're like oh my gosh how are we going to do this so we're going to take it week by week and just try to get better each week. What is your expectation this year coach? I mean we have team goals for ourselves right and you know they might be they might be lofty but we also believe that if you know you focus too much on the goals and your expectations that you're going to miss the things that it takes along the way to get there so right now our expectation is to be ready to play August 24th week one and you know if we are and we keep getting better and fixing our mistakes we think we can be in a good spot but you know we're not just going to have some lofty you know high hopes and just hope it gets there. I got Coach of Fear the Veer, Tony Vitrino here. Um, Coach, um, last season, a lot of experience. Um, how's everything been this year, this off season? We're clearly much younger. We've got, we only have two starters back on D, and you know Parker's gone, and his brother's gone, and a lot of our leadership left. And but they created a standard of work ethic, and you know we heard a lot of the coaches talk about today. Our young guys are going to grind, and you know Brady's and, and Mags are going to lead us, and we're going to try to compete. Talk about your quarterback situation. How that's been going? Well, we got three guys that are really working hard to fight for the job, and I probably don't think our staff will be have a clear understanding of who that's going to be until after the scrimmage. So we got three Gadoos, Tommy Offer, uh, Rhino Waters, and Lachlan Tillerson that are all playing pretty well. Hopefully one of them emerges and makes it easy for us. How's your schedule looking? It's crazy hard. Um, you know, we're, we're starting with St. Mary's, and they're going to be much better this year away. And then the OA Red, and we cross over with Rochester and Bloomy, so there's no easy weeks and we're excited. We're just trying to focus for St. Mary's right now. What is the expectation here, Coach? Man, try to get better week one and week nine, because uh, if we don't, it's going to be a long year. The Dragons open up the 2023 season at Michigan against Livonia Stevenson. Kickoff is set for noon. The Dragons won't be home until September the 8th, which is week three, as they take on Oxford at Dragon Stadium. From Rochester, I'm Sammy Termina, ON TV News.